All right, got myself a podcast. Time to buckle up for the long haul. This is Nemesis. We are going to be making these a little easier to use. And I'm going to do it by making them nice and pretty with uh, some dry erase markers. I like these ones because of the uh, window that goes along with it. Uh, it's getting a little low, but at least I know it because I got a window. So let's start. Pop one out, then go along checking the edges. And if anything on these is a little off, get a sanding block and I just round them out a little bit. Okay, so then I take this and I go around the edges. Okay. Now, I want you to imagine on your table you have one or the other as a stack, right? You could have the one that stands out just gray, or you can just have the one that doesn't stand out in black. If you have some coin capsules of the right size, sometimes the bag can be a pain to open. Check, and that's the right size. So that fits there. Get some tools. Use this. Get a little bumpy, bumpy. Just take that off, nice and smooth. And in there. Pop that open. This in. And then there you go. It's like a poker chip. All the art's there. It's ready to go. If you have a problem and any of the plastic doesn't stick or it just pops apart, you could, if you never wanted to reuse these ever again, obviously right now I don't have that problem, but you could take some Tamiya glue and then just tap a couple spots and uh, seal it together and that'll glue together and it'll never come apart but it'll still remain um, okay for that. Now you don't ever want to use super glue, just no use extra thin cement, the Tamiya stuff, that's what you want. You could also, if you don't have this, you can get one of these, but I found that it kind of conforms to the edges a lot better and uh, this just kind of squishes things. But check your applications. So then go back through, do another one. You know, just hit it up. And then. Boom. Boom. And that's where I'm at there. Grab another one out. Pop, pop. It's in there. It's the right size. Give it a little, a little bit of, a little bit of that. And you just keep going on. And that's how you get to those. How do you know? Which size is which? You get 
yourself a cheap one of these and pop it out. Turn it on and measure it. So these are 24.1. So around 24. Okay. If you were to put this into one of these 25s. goes in but you know it's gonna wobble around a little bit it's not gonna be tight but you can still seal it and it'll be okay like if you don't have it perfect then it'll still it'll still be relatively okay um, but what I did Could get something that is a little more specific, like these 24 and a halfs, but uh, the 25 should be fine. Okay, so this thing here, it's got different colors. I could go in if I want. I could say, well, this blue side over here, if it's you know not hiding anything, I can make it blue to blue, right? And then now this part's black, I might just go over just to the blue part and over down just to the blue part and then uh, maybe I'll leave it there, do a little quick touch up and uh, depending on how you look at it, it doesn't change the plane and when you get over here to the, the gray, it stays gray. So, you don't have to ring things out exactly. Uh, so, pop this guy into, I'm going to point this down, down arrow. But there it is. A little uh, rough spot there. Okay, but there it is. And it looks kind of nice. Uh, for something maybe like one of these red ones. Okay, this has some more crap on it. I don't know if that makes it easier for you to see, but if I just hit it a little bit, a little love, a tiny bit, then uh, that clears a lot of that. Now, what you may see is that one of the main reasons why I'm doing this is the cardboard starts to separate and fray. So what I'll do is I'll come in with a color that's similar, as similar as I can, and this reddish brown is one of those. And hit it that way. And just wipe away the excess but it looks like that and it should fit pretty well uh, a lot of crap on it fit that in there Makes me feel better to get it nice and clean. And if you were to put them all together, you would be able to tell the color differences. So when you have them stacked in a container of some kind, you might be able to use the color differences to know which stack you're grabbing. So that can be one of the reasons why you would do this. I just like the feel. You don't have to. Uh, these are some weird shapes, right? So we have some hexes, like a beehive, but on the backs, they're black. So if I were to make this purple, like I did with the other piece, 
then you would be able to tell which one it is. And having the question mark on the back means you don't want that. So what I'm gonna do, just quickly sand off the corners if I have to do anything to them. Um, and then every corner gets done in black. What do I want from here? Do I want this thing on? Zero. 24 also. So it could fit in one of these guys. And maybe I want to do that. Maybe I don't. Let's try one one way. So it doesn't really like jiggle too much in there. It's got a little, a little bit of loose, but for the most part, it's protected. Nothing bad's gonna happen to it. It's gonna be fine. Is that the only thing you could do? No, there's more you could do. And that's when you start grabbing other stuff. Um, we have another weird shape here. So these eggs, I'm gonna measure out. So this is also 24. So if I wanted to, to keep it at that size, I could. But I'm gonna do something a little different right now just to show you another thing I do with weird shapes. So I sand off my little spots. I get it nice. Then I nice. Tell I'm happy. And I'm probably going to make a 3D version of this, so I'm not really going to think about putting them in these coin cases. Um, so for right now, I'm going to seal them a different way. And just get a little, little, little tiny, tiny bit on there. And on the places where I put the ink, everything's in black, so it's hard to tell. But I'm going to wipe off any excess. And just kind of go in there and get as much of the glue, or Mod Podge is what I have. I think it's chemically similar to PVA glue, if not exactly the same as PVA glue. So, put the uh, cap on so it doesn't dry out. And Mod Podge, that's what I use. Um, and it'll glue in a plastic kind of casing. Now, everybody complains, like, oh no, Joe, I have humidity. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, you grab one of these things and you put it on there. And you grab another one of these things and you put it on there. And that compressive strength is just gonna sit there and uh, keep it from spreading out, it's going to keep it a nice tight seal, and solve your humidity problems. So there's a couple things regarding the way that I do this. I wrap the uh, clothespins in tape. You can pick whatever type of tape you want, but I do it so that the glue does not stick. I also get a couple different sizes of clothespins. They're all um, taped. There is a difference in the tension between the larger one and the smaller one. You wouldn't use the big one on anything you think is going to indent. 
and it only takes a few seconds for it to to seal like that and you may be asking what do I so all of the uh, character sheets yeah I did all those um, all of the little things yeah I did those um, these guys I took a pen Sharpie pen, and this went in, filled those in. These guys, room toilet tiles, same thing. I went in and so now they're all sealed and perfect for ever. So you don't have to just do the minis, you know, you don't have to just do those. You can do all this stuff and it'll still fit in there. There's room, you know, there's still room for, for these guys in there. Putting stuff away. But, uh... So that's it. That's kind of how it goes, works. You could do the wrapped edges. Like that's probably what's gonna happen next. And I'll do the same on this piece. So when going around these, they won't get the pieces. This player token, you know, just go around the edges and then they'll all finally get glued. Same as that. So that's the quick and dirty version of how I'm going to be pimping out my uh, nemesis. Hope that answers any questions uh, from references of things that I had before. You can if you want. Uh, I'll try to put affiliate links so you can pick up these. These are 30 millimeter for these tokens. These are 25s or 24s for everything else. And then uh, uh, you'll be able to get all your tools, get these nice windowed pieces and you know a nice selection of, uh, of colors, multiple types, you know highlighters for yellow because there's no other yellow that I know of and uh, you should have a hobby knife, so maybe some sculpting tools that can help you out and uh, these little 3M sanding blocks. Of course these ones are 200 um, but you can get other types that you want. That seems to work fine. That's it. Have a good one.